kill the Batman. <laughs> what is up guys, this is Limits bringing you another high level Halo Wars 2v2 video. This game is going to be against Knife Pro and Hutsey. Well, I am playing with two legit. We are running the yeah, classical Anders unit. Brute oh. versus Cutter oh. RB matchup all on Crevice. And when running what Anders now? Brute on this map, I like to leave both those Out. double bases back there for the all Anders. Simply because it gives her a quicker triple all base on Goss and a quicker push with the triple. Not only that, but as the Brute Chieftain, I believe he is the best Covenant leader on Crevice. I think I that like he is able like to stay on a single base, brute rush, and he'll be fine with air units staying on one base. Oh, Normally, you want a double base as an Arbiter, but that's because you need the economy to rage and where. double pump. But as a brute chieftain, you can kind of dig your toes into the dirt Local and go unit. straight in and basically harass, Not and what? what that does is it forces the opposing Covenant player to play defense right away and they might need help still from the UNSC player and my theory is if the UNSC player is helping their Covenant player play defense on me that should open up the map for my UNSC player to kind of take advantage and grab all the hooks that he needs to get his tech and kind of attack early and keep the pressure on and that way I'll be able in return to get my summits up safely and there's my air lead. So, putting Theory Wars aside, I'm going to go ahead and walk up to the Arbiter's base, which will be Knife Pro this game. And as you can see, he decided to stay on a single base as well as the Arbiter, which, in this case, I don't think that's a bad idea. I used to play as the Arbiter and single base against a Brute Chieftain as well. It works out very well, especially with the setup that he has. He has a turret in that back corner, basically protecting those pads. So all I'm going to be able to do is kind of hit this supply pad and keep it down. Otherwise, I'm going to have to take my Brute Chieftain somewhere else and see what I can do. So you can see that Hutsey is coming in and ramming with his Warthogs. He is helping out Knife Pro play some defense. Basically with my theory, that is that too legit should be able to take all the hooks that he wants and kind of just get a quick goss and safely get all over the map and as you can see right there he is on top of the hooks you're not able to ram and battle for the hooks as well as you could if you're having to play defense for your covenant so Hutsey's at a little bit of a disadvantage not just because he's playing defense but he's also cutter which is not as good at maintaining the hooks as Anders is on this map so I took out that one pad and I'm going to go ahead and pick up shop and leave and see what I can do somewhere else. This is where I'm kind of thinking no matter what I do I'm just going to get raged down. So I'm going to garrison a brute here and hopefully that will prevent Knife Pro from sticking around my brute chieftain because it'll do damage and he won't be able to kill it. I took out Hutsey's marine there that was heading towards the middle. And like I said right here, this is just kind of to prevent them from grabbing another base for the Covenant player and to kind of just do some damage to Knife Pro and keep him off my Brute Chieftain. So my job right now, basically since I can't do anything to the Covenant player, is to harass and try and get my Banshees up and basically stall them so too legit can get his goss numbers higher and that third Local base units. safely built. Local units. Warehouse upgrade. I'm walking what, uh, to the UNSC units. player. This is kind of to drag the local Arbiter units. back to me and keep the Arbiter away from two legit hogs at all costs this game. As you can see local Knife Pro units. is scouting me out seeing what's going on local and units. his Arbiter is still now? playing defense. I'm still getting rammed so I'm doing a good job of keeping them Local on my Brute Chieftain, focused there, and Local not on the Warthogs or the Hooks. And I will give credit, this game was actually played very phenomenal by Hutsey and Knife Pro, which kind of surprised me, because when I rolled into this game, this was during the era of Anders Brute Dominance, 
where people who ran Cutter Arby no. could not stop Anders Brute, even though Cutter Arby is kind of a direct counter to it. But on particular maps like this on Crevice, Anders Brute should still always beat a Cutter Arby, although there are ways for Cutter Arby to really combat it and have a fighting chance if you drag the game out. So as you can see, Hutsy did get a Spartan tank out, but he's sending that to the middle, not to my Brute Chieftain, and I'm still trying to get that Arbiter to follow me. I'm not doing too well with my summits. My summits are coming along as quick as they possibly can, but they might push soon, and if they stop my summits, we could be in trouble. So, two legits kind of running out of the middle, and that's because there's a tank that pushed to the middle. The Arbiter decided to come back with me. And as you can see, I am trying to just kind of collect some crates and get my tech up. I sent one brute over to the side hook. That's not only to prevent Hutsy from getting that hook, but it's also for that quick repeating cannon. And two legit called out in the middle of this game that Knife Pro has their side reactor. For some reason, two legit did not grab it. So Knife Pro is probably already on vamps, but he did catch them when they were switching back and forth on that hook, and he's going to be able to take both of them out. All units. All units. And Knife Pro, while playing defense, has kind of turreted and shielded his base, so the quick push with Goss on the triple base is not going to be too effective in this situation. What helps is that I still have that garrison brute in that cover. We can kind of see where the tanks are going, if they're going to the middle, if they're crossing over. And this is where I'm going to be sending a brute shortly to the middle of the map, and I'm kind of not using my banshees right now because I'm afraid of where his vampires are, but I do need to start doing some sort of damage with them. And instead of taking out vehicle depots on Kravis, a lot of the times I like to hit the cutter supply pads simply because their economy is never very good on this map. And that's where you see I'm going to start kind of walking my brute to the middle when I notice that he does have some hogs there, so I'm going to go ahead and try and take those out simply because I do not want to see my brute get rammed before I get in the hook. So one thing that's important in this game is that I have to be very evasive and kind of kiting with my banshees all game, making sure that I don't get caught or stasis. I need to keep kind of an eye out for vampires wherever they are. Legit's going to go for the quad base, which is pretty good on this map, simply because if this turns into a base trade, we're going to need all the bases. And as you can see, Knife Pro snuck into that reactor before I could get there, and that's not looking too good for me because I had the idea of getting sacrificed this game, and so what's going to happen is I'm going to walk my brute to the other hook, and it's going to be a race because as you can see, Hutsy has his tanks down there, there's vamps in the middle, and just sneaking in there, I'm going to be able to research sacrifice, which is pretty crucial. So, two legit tried to go around and kind of hit to buy us some time, and what ends up happening is he gets caught by the Arbiter, but for some reason Hutsy was on the brink of pushing on our bases, but for some reason he went back to kind of take me out of that hook. So some things went our way there and some things didn't. Obviously we did not want to lose all of our Warthogs, but at the same time, we did draw his tanks back for whatever reason. All units. And right there, I tried to, All units. you know, kind of stall his All tanks units. a little bit. I see the vampires and I have to get out of there. Two legit does still have some All warthogs units. and he's running them around because All he did units. manage to kill the Arbiter after losing quite a bit. So right now it looks like we might be going into the stereotypical base trade that happens on crevice in this matchup at times. Instead of hitting that vehicle depot, I start going after the pads. 
simply because, like I said, I think he already has pretty much a full population. If I stop one or two tanks, it's not going to be that big of a difference to me. But I am worried about being caught, so once again, I'm just going to be boosting away and back. And the problem for Knife Pro this game is basically he has to split his vampires because if he puts all of his vampires to catch my banshees, I can quickly just boost back and take out most of Hutsey's tanks. And that works because I'm almost at a full population of sacrifice, which is pretty much going to knock, knock out tanks in seconds. So I'm going to try and shield to buy myself some time if Hutsey um, winds up going over to my base. As you can see, Knife Pro has started to split his vampires. But I'm going to go ahead and knock out half of his base here and get out. And my shield gets up just in time before the tanks roll up. And you'll see that's pretty critical this game. I'm going to go ahead and just start boosting my banshees around, make sure I don't get caught with the stasis. I'm not exactly sure what Legit's doing at this time. I think he's going around kind of knocking out some bases and taking some bases back. I'm not really sure. But I told him that we needed to play defense on this, so I'm pretty sure he's coming back at this point because I need to fight these tanks and keep my pump alive. And yep, looks like Too Legit is running up the ramp, and I'm just going to circle over these tanks and take out as many as I can. The good thing about this and the reason we decided to come back and fight them now is because Hutsey cannot repump his tanks. I took out his economy and I took out his vehicle depots. I'm pretty sure he was taken out of the hooks by two legit. So right now their cutter is very vulnerable, and if I lose my banshees, it's not that big of a deal because the tank threat is now gone. So I'm going to boost out of there, and I have quite a good amount of numbers still. It looks like Hutsey got back up on his feet pretty quickly, and once again I just kind of have to scramble around and boost as much as possible. I have a lot of black bar banshees. But what's important is that I did not lose any of my numbers, which still makes me a threat. Because if I just poke in and out, I'm going to be able to deal a lot of damage still. So the Arbiter is at my base, but there's not much he can really do at this point. I have a shield. We took out the base that Hutsey tried to sneak up on our side of the map. Too Legit is back onto a triple. And once again, we just need to kind of keep the pressure on and keep our units from getting caught. Anders Brood is basically just a spam, but there are points in time where you cannot lose a large chunk of your army, otherwise you will lose the game. So this was something I was kind of waiting for earlier in the game. Knife Pro finally puts his vamps in front of my base and kind of locks me up, so I'm not going to be able to pump out any more banshees. But the good thing is, is half my army, or the majority of my army, is already on the other side of the map. And this is going to allow us to kind of take out that back base and put a lot of pressure on them to play defense with offense. And so right now, I'm going to take out some of these tanks for two legit, but it looks like I'm going to have to get out of here because legit is falling back. All units. All units. And like I said... We're just kind of trying to avoid the mass tanks and the Arbiter at this point. We just need to kind of kite and be evasive all game. And once again, the vampires are coming to lock me. And basically, I have to wait for two legit to come over here and free me up. Because I do have quite a bit of Banshees locked in my base. And for us to be able to be effectively aggressive on offense, I need more units. I can't just be flying around with these eight Banshees and camped with the vampires so legit's going to go ahead and free me up here and as you can see the tanks are now pushing through the middle of the map so we have to once again kite them try and make them play defense because if we fight them head on knife pro has quite a bit of vampires that he can probably stasis my entire army at this point and I did not finish that pad. I'm pretty scared of the vampires right now. I do not want to lose all of my sacrifice banshees. 
on the minimap we see where the RB is so we are on the complete opposite side and this is where we're going to split our armies a little bit I'm boosting all the way to the back right now but I'm gonna turn around and head back to kind of support to legit and that way because you can see there's a few tanks there but with our entire army right here we now can take out his army because he split his tanks not all of his tanks are right here so with his tanks kind of you know low in numbers due to the split the banshees are going to be able to take out the tanks really quick while the goss can focus on the vampires and once we get this taken care of we can pretty much hit this base uncontested and kind of pound away at it after we kill all the tanks I'm going to be focusing on the vampires and kind of hitting the base as well and they just simply didn't have enough tank numbers here half their tanks were on the other side of the map and it took them a while to come over to play defense on that base so a lot of the vampires were lost trying to stop the banshees and the goss numbers were not taken out quick enough to be effective on playing defense and as you can see there's the arbiter we're just gonna drop the d-bomb take out the base and once you've taken out one of the cutters bases and put them on one it's pretty much the game so we are going to go ahead and be aggressive and continue to just kind of push on Hutsey and Knife Pro's bases here I'm just going to go ahead and target the tanks down and the Goths will just follow underneath me which takes out the vampires and that's pretty much the game and like I said this was a very well played game by Hutsey and Knife Pro I hope you guys enjoyed it and see ya